Welcome to the Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Dine. I'm Mike the Explosive One. And we have a very special guest with us today by the name of... This is Rosemary Fern Garden. All right. Thank you, Rosemary, for coming. Let, uh, let's crack into another one. Yeah, we'll crack into it. Rosemary, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself for a second? I want to know who you are and where, you, why, how you came to us today. Yes. I, well, you encountered me at the Trader Joe's the other day as I was sniffing rosemary. And you asked me if it is something that is edible. And I said, yes, why don't you have some? And we sat there for 15 minutes eating rosemary before a customer service person told us we couldn't eat food without buying it first. You Caught me every Thursday eating, eating greens at the, at, the, <laughs> at the store without buying them. These yes. MFers eating flowers when grazing in the grocery store? Yes. That's rosemary a flower? I'm pretty sure it is. Isn't rosemary a flower? It I don't can know. be. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> all right. Yeah, we eat flowers. We eat flowers. We eat herbs. Herb? Oh, herbs I with an eat, H. I love yes. eating herb. Whoa, whoa, brother. <laughs> whoa, brother. I mean, you know, I respect your choice, but <laughs> you and herb, I hope you guys have a good day. So, I have a, speaking of plants and herbs, sure. uh, have you guys ever eaten something and it went down the wrong tube and you like, you know, you cough and hack a minute? Aspiration. Is have you ever mean? aspirated food? Yes. How does that feel? It sucks. Um, <laughs> you know, the worst thing I ever aspirated on was, you remember like the plastic coat hangers and they have like those <laughs> Excuse little- Excuse me, hold wait, on a second. Wait, hear me out. Okay. And they, they have like the little plastic hooks on like the inside yeah, of yeah, it. Yeah, for, like, for like tank tops and whatnot. So when I was a kid, I would like break those things off and I would just like chew on them or whatever. I don't, well, that sounds listen, safe. Listen, I don't make- I, We're I just, not judging you. Oh my. <laughs> I'm oh. telling you my life story here. And I remember I started choking on one at the pool because I was like, you Why know. You did this at the pool? Heaven. So, Why? <laughs> you're asking questions. I'm just telling you a story. All right, all right. <laughs> and then I like almost died. Wow, that was a great story. It was like, <laughs> and I almost died at the pool. Rosemary, what do you think about that story? Heavens. <laughs> me? I cannot believe it. I'm so surprised that you're here with us today. Okay, I'm glad to be here. Yes. You know? You must have a destiny that's magnificent. I I hope so. Uh, yes. Every every time I I spend time with him, I feel like my destiny is being created. You know. Ain't that yes. The truth. So, so so give me the give me the all story. Right, so the reason I ask is there was a gentleman who was having a problem. He was hacking. He was coughing. He thought he had emphysema, emphysema. something. So he went and he had a uh, MRI. Come right. and find out he had a he had something inside his lung and. You know, you find something in the lung, very disturbing, right? You know, yeah, you want to get that out of there. Right. Um, what it came to be was he had aspirated a pea. A pea. A pea. A single like pea. A garden pea. Okay. And the conditions were right inside his lung that it sprouted and started growing a plant Don't inside oh! his lung. Uh, they That's said it was half a centimeter tall, but still was a very dangerous thing to have happened. In your lung? He had a he had a pea plant growing in his lung. I would yes. love to see a picture of that. Of, of it in his lung? It like, seems beautiful. Oh. That yes. would be a good like abstract art exhibit. Yes. I, I would think so. Pea lung. Pea lung. Pea lung. I mean <laughs> be careful who you ask about pea lung. It means very different things in different places. Yeah, right. There's there's definitely worse places you could have a pea lodge. <laughs> there is worse places you could get. But a pea. yeah, in your in your lung seems so, awful. Oh so my God. uh dude had surgery to take it out. A and, pee? Yeah. They had to go into his <laughs> lung and take it out. Couldn't he it just was, swallow? It was rooted in his capillaries. He, he couldn't just swallow that bad boy? I don't know. I feel that like you should know that you can't swallow inside your lung. I, look, I feel like I, you should know that, <laughs> of all people. I don't know why. Is that a black joke? Or what, was yeah, no, what does that have to do? <laughs> like black people know lungs better? What are you trying to goodness. say? Because I'd be running in Africa? Wait, wait I don't understand. <laughs> What I want to know is if they removed that sprouting pea and tried to sell it on the black market. Are you interested? To collect it. I would have bought that like goddamn Like myself. Plant. Are you selling things that people, are you collecting things that people have aspirated on? Or just vegetables that people have aspirated on? Well. Or I'm internal bodily grown plants. Internal bodily grown plants are my speciality. Ah, girl, I've been breathing black mold for months. Do I have the gold mine for you? Oh, yes. Let's get to work at once. I have my scalpel and a little bit of lidocaine with me, as it happens. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyways, <laughs> I mean, 
if you want to cut him open, we got some ice. We are not cutting me open right now. We got a podcast. Oh, okay, after the episodes are done. So is dude okay? Yes, okay. he had his surgery. Okay. He survived, and then it's the article says he was very amused when the first meal after his surgery had peas as the main punch vegetable. Punch somebody in the face, man! I swear, to God. <laughs> I would throw that that burrito bowl back in that lady's face so hard. Throw it right in the nurse's face. (laughs) You bring me a Chipotle with peas in it after I didn't choke And then they said his friends thought it was funny, and then they brought him canned peas and pea seeds when he got home. Dude, that sounds like some bullshit friend stuff to do. I I would do that shit, Mm. too. That'd be like you get attacked by a dog, and you get home, and they bring you a puppy. That's not nice. No, I mean, if you if, he had, right, if he had died from it and they put peas on his grave, that would be fucked up, friends. <laughs> <laughs> They're just like, we're just going to grow some peas right on his goddamn yeah. grave. If anything, you, you survive having a pea in your lung and you make it and you're going to live a normal life. Yeah, I'm going to make fun of you, pea lung. I'm going to call you that for the rest I, of your life. I can't help but g- <laughs> giggle every time you say pea lung. lung. <laughs> I'm going to call you plung. <laughs> if I was his friend, that's what I would call him for the rest of his goddamn life. Plung pie. Rosemary, can I ask you what is your favorite vegetable and or fruit, and where would you like most to have it lodged? <laughs> I think that's a very I personal have, question to ask our guest. Good question. No, no. I'm not. I said I'm, personal. <laughs> I'm writing a book about this, actually. Okay, okay. Oh. Oh. Yes, yes, so my favorite vegetable is a kumquat. Okay. Mm. It's actually not a vegetable, but uh, nobody believe- cares but me. <laughs> it's a it's a kumquat, and I would love to have it lodged in my kneecap. Oh, oh in the front or behind? In the front, so it's all bulbous and sticking out, and a little I, orange under the skin. I don't even know what a kumquat looks it's like. Like a mini, uh, a mini orange kind it's of. Like a, it's like a little orange, like a cutie. Yes. Yeah, it's but more it's, than it's, that, more, it's more egg shaped. More it's egg shaped. It's like um the size of like a. Uh, like a big marble, okay. maybe a little bigger, like okay. golf ball. Biggest. And uh, can I just ask, what would be the functionality of having a kumquat in your kneecap? An aesthetically pleasing knee. Well, I mean, look, man, she she got my vote on that one. Yes. All right, there's nothing you can't really go wrong with who, that. Who doesn't like pointy knees? <laughs> Right. I mean, every dating profile I look at, I look for the pointy Every time I'm on a date, the first thing they ask me on Tinder is, hey, what do those knees do? And I'm like, I'm sorry. <laughs> they're rounded. They're normal. They've mm-hmm. been one way. They're like, where the kumquats at, brother? And I'm like, I'm sorry. Oh, my goodness. I think I've been talking to you on Tinder. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that. I remember that. That was me. <laughs> My goodness. It's a small oh world in Austin, God. Texas. I may be 76, but I'm still <laughs> young at heart. You're veg lover 76? Oh, my God. <laughs> That's me. It only makes sense. <laughs> Rosemary. It's, uh, it's kismet. We <laughs> met, you've met outside of Tinder, <laughs> off Tinder. It really is. It really is. Yeah, what's your book called, uh, Rosemary? Eating Plums. Mm. The oh. Saga of Rosemary and Trader Joe's babies wow trader joe's oh like the guy who found its babies yes oh i didn't and also it's it's a little pun on rosemary's baby oh oh so it like is it is it satanic is it satanic? it's certainly a little satanic i mean it sounds like it if you're collecting a bit if you're collecting dislodged uh vegetables and fruits from people that's pretty sure there's a law against that well i i well I need it for my book and my demonic services. Oh. Yes, I'm calling I'm calling up the demons. Oh, you're calling up the de- the demons of what? Can of you... the underworld, of course. Oh, okay. Yeah, Just yeah. any any demon in particular, one I might oh. be familiar with so I can know who yes. to worship when he appears. Specifically Fazapaz. 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 Oh, not familiar. He has the power to inhabit your body and turn your entire body into a plant. But you're alive. But hmm. you are a plant. You can think, but you are a plant. Uh, I'm going to say that sounds like, uh, sounds pretty fucked up. <laughs> it's beautiful, quite. Really? It's quite beautiful. All right, you know, I could be wrong. Isn't yes. that, like, didn't they have plant folks in the Lord of the Rings? Weren't there, like, guys as plants or something? Yes. Was there? Yes, that, that was the work of Fezapaz. Oh, Fezapaz was in there? Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Well, Definitely. J.R. Dartokel and Fezapaz are like this, so uh, yeah, it only makes sense he would incorporate them. sold the Fezapaz for a book deal. Yeah. I, I have actually, and uh, I don't feel guilty about it. 
All right. Well, mm-hmm. I hope that when you have to live your the rest of your life as a rhododendron, that uh, you know, your book sells hot hot cakes. You know. Well, thank you. Hot I was cakes. thinking I'd like to live my life as that beautiful plant right there under your full moon. You know? Oh, the bonsai. You want to be a bonsai? Honestly, I'm not gonna lie. That would be kind of baller. If, if you were I, a bonsai. If I had to be like you know, I die and I had to become a tree and like I get to watch the kids play underneath me. Mm-hmm. And I get to like watch the old folks feed like birds and stuff, and I get to watch like you know white women get mugged. And so, that would be that would be like a great life, that right? Ha- they get mugged under trees. I don't know. I'm just saying. What you if know, like it's some, a possibility. some like angsty teenage boy was like TJ plus Sarah into your like torso with a knife, oh, a tattoo. I mean, as, as long as he gets <laughs> that would be a tattoo. I, I hope he gets lucky that night. <laughs> if it works for him, it works. Scar for me. me for your hey. for your. Cletus. I'm a wingman even in death. <laughs> fair, fair. All right. That's all the time we have for this episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe. Uh, thank you for joining us, Rosemary. But for Jonas. TNT and. Who is next? <laughs> we are out. <laughs>